How will your technology help in situations like this? Well, the first opportunity that we have is to be able to bring in the capabilities that the Internet of Things affords us in terms of environmental monitoring, in terms of sensors that are available for us, and combine them into models and bring, being able to then bring in machine learning and cognitive capabilities so that we can improve the quality of those forecasts. That's step number one so that we can see three days in advance or even 10 days in advance, what is the anticipated air pollution levels that we expect in the city? The second dimension then is to be able to integrate it so that we can do scenario analysis and take some actions. The beauty of the Internet of Things is that we can then close the loop and take actions in terms of traffic control or it might be limiting the amount of production in particularly severe uh, scenarios when there is um, uh, okay. air pollution. So Beijing issued its first ever red alert over air pollution this week. Did your technology help the government make that decision? Well, so the environmental agency in Beijing uses IBM technology to provide both guidance to citizens and take those actions, including alerts like the ones issued this week. And uh, even though the situation in the recent weeks has been very, very dire, Overall, they have seen about 20% reduction over the course of this year compared to previous years. But when the situation gets tough, they indeed use the technology to issue these calls. So can the technology trace emissions back to a specific source like a coal power plant, a factory, a specific part of the highway? And how does it do that? So part of the capability, too, is indeed to be able to bring back attribution to likely sources. The forecasting ability uh, that gets enabled is at the one kilometer resolution in terms of prediction. And then in terms of attribution, it's at a larger scale. But it might be a sector or a particular region or zone in which then you can attribute what are the contributions of different factories, as an example, and you may rank order them in terms of which one you may be able to reduce production or limit the emissions. So explain without getting too deep in the weeds, how exactly does the technology work? How do you use AI to fight pollution? So the way the technology works is that in addition to collecting the sensor data from satellite data and traffic data and other uh, particular counts, we use a combination of both physics and chemistry models. And the magic, if you, you know, want to describe it that way in terms of the utilization of AI and cognitive technologies, is in the model blending. What that means specifically is that we use the machine learning techniques to learn what is the proper combination of these models and the parameters in the models based on experience. If some of the models were more successful in the past than others or particular blends of these models, then we adjust those parameters and that is learned through experience. And the result is okay. far better quality than compared to just straight out physics or chemistry models.